in this tournament are because they're trying to get benefits and assistance to compete in the Junior Olympics that are going to be taking place in, these, um, in June. It's going to be the 3rd to the 10th in Lubbock, Texas. And, um, well, you know, I can tell you that uh, a lot of these boxers, like you said, you know, this is the star. This is how it start. A lot of these boxers are going to be champion words. You know, a lot of them. It takes a lot for them to be here. And they spend a lot of money, parents, to be in this sport. But believe me, a lot of these boxers, he knows you're going to see them on the big, big, big screen. Hey, Frisco, I know you're, you're you as a, as a fighter, Hall of Famer. This is where it all started, man. And, and, and being here and watching these kids, did it take you back? Tell me, man, what was the process when you was in the amateur? The process is no different than it is down and you, you have to grow through this process. This is the breeding grounds for great boxing champions. You know, they be, be, if it wasn't for them, we would not have a, we would not have a stage. You know, they developed the stage for us to, to develop that. Uh, teaches about the rules, the organ about the organization, and how to you know um, conduct ourselves, maintain ourselves as, as professionals. Learn early, you know. And they teaches the rules and regulations, and and about not just about boxing, but how to how to conduct ourselves outside of the ring, you know. And that's very important. And you know, and I, and I spoke to many coaches, and uh, and you know, we're dealing with youngsters now. We were in a situation with the COVID, um, boxing, uh, it decreased. It seems like boxing is coming back and uh, we're seeing more of it. Um, in the near future, you said now, um, uh, Texas, um, what else are we about to be having out here that's going to be, because Florida is, I mean, really kicking butt. I mean, we got fights from Miami, Gold Gloves, Orlando, Kissimmee. We got pro box, professional TV. I mean, I've been here 30 years, and this is the first time that I've seen boxing so, so active. Yes, it is. It did take a decline after COVID, but we're one of the main sports that started back up with COVID. Um, USA Boxing took a lot of um, regulations that we did have um, conducting wise for the safety of all the boxers, especially because we have young children from eight years old and up. So we, ha so we're like one of the ones that started coming back and opening the sport up much bigger. And I mean, it's great because these kids were like cooped up for all this time and they really wanted to get back into the ring. And this is where they start to become future Olympians. I I always say, you know, a lot of these coaches don't get enough credit because it's not easy. I got four boys and a girl to deal with kids from the age of eight to even 15. Um, what What is it about it, man? How, how these guys do it, you as, as a pro, and, and and how do they keep these guys, these kids uh, on point? Well, I'm going to tell you this. Um, I have a lot of conversation with parents, which they don't want to put their kids into boxing because they're always saying it's a violent sport. It's not a violent sport. It's all about love. You know, you got plenty of good coaches, parents, that they are teaching these kids how to be humble, how to be respectful. That's what we are losing right now. The new generation is going, it's not like my generation, you know, that we have to keep that old generation, teach these kids how to be respectful towards each other, no matter what. To me, as soon as you step on the ring, lose a win, you're already a champ, because it takes a lot, so many hours in the gym to be where you are. Not only that, you know, I give a lot of credit to USA boxing officials like Frisco. You know, they don't realize that we put so many hours on the sport to give these kids an opportunity to be a better person. You know, and that's what it's all about, being a better person. You know, and teaching our kids, hey, look, boxing is a beautiful sport. It's not a violent sport. You see a lot of these kids going that ring, bleeding, trying to kill each other but when they come outside the ring it's all about love and respect that's what people don't realize you know i see that when i see a, a eight-year-old nine-year-old guys sir yes sir no sir i mean come on not even my boss say sir to me and i buzz my butt frisco man you know um you're a hall of famer you you've fought the best here and there how much talent i i see a lot of talent here in the amateurs and um and and, and what, what are you seeing in the next year i mean I, i've seen so many talent today i'm so happy to see a lot like i mean i just this florida is just, just booming because we're spending so much time david veronica and, and the association we spend so they spend so much time i'm just a small part of it 
they spend so much time, you know, like I said, I said, you know, teaching them, teaching them about boxing, but teaching them about being well balanced outside and outside of the ring, being respectful in the ring, being resp uh, respectful outside of the ring. You know, guys, thank you. Thank you, Veronica. Thank you, man, because you know what? Uh, you guys do so much, and I know you guys don't get the credit you deserve. And the time, sometimes it's, it's free time, dedication time to, to, to do something that us as parents should be doing at home. So, you know, this is, you guys are an example to society and, and, as, and to parents. So I want to personally thank you for what you guys are doing. And, and Frisco, thank you for the time, man. And yo, I'm excited, bro, because uh, I, I've seen some of these kids from, and now they're about to go pro. Um, kids you said Florida, I've seen them as amateurs, you know, and it's nice. They've seen them, you know. Um, X-Men, which is um, Zion Sanders, he used to be with us as well. He was from part of the Gold Coast, but also he boxed a lot here in Florida with Tofino, us. Tofino Lopez. Okay. Tofino Lopez. We have another another potential boxer who I believe is will be great, Danilo uh, Diaz. Diaz. I mean, he's, he, I, I think he's going to become one of the top ones up there. Mm -hmm. The way that this kid has been improved, his training in Gold Coast with the uh, 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 Sanders coach. Yes. And he, I seen him spar, and he's doing so great. Believe me, watch out for Danilo Diaz. I'm, yes. I'm telling. Smiley. Oh, we oh, have Smiley. Smiley. Yes, we have Smiley. The host state knows who Smiley yeah. is. Everybody knows who Smiley is from Aguilar's boxing, which is Coach Miguel Aguilar, one of the best humbles coach that I have seen in my life. Respectful, mm -hmm. and I have nothing else to say about coaches. And I said plenty of them. Plenty like Coach Frisco as well. Yeah, and, and, and last, last yeah. Day, yeah. and his pro debut. Uh, up in uh, Brandon and uh, the Harley Davidson, that's where he made his pro debut. He did amazing. He looked great. We, I've seen him as an amateur, and just you know, just it's, it, it, he keeps growing, and it's because of their foundation. You know, uh, again, thank you. I, I've seen, I'm seeing guys now at even at Pro Box uh, that started with the, because everybody starts here. You got the Bayer brother, Jacob Gomez. You got a. Uh, um, Darrell Valzain, who was a 2020 uh, Olympian, also Mar uh, Marcus, also for uh, was in the Olympians. I'll try. So you know, hey, listen, guys, we got a lot of excitement, man. Listen, bochinche, pero te lo dije, no es de la suegra, es del box, papi. Pa que sepan, yo subscribe at YouTube Beast Boxing Tiger. In media and entertainment, God bless you and keep watching, bro. Subscribe. <laughs>